Hi, my name is Celia Buchanan. I'm the National Artist Educator for Marabou North America Creative and I want to introduce you to the graphics line. So I'm going to start with our new graphics inks. These are pigment based. There are 14 colours and they are also available in a set. I'm just going to reach off here and pull the set in. It's a 15ml 15 15 bottle and uh, they are extremely light fast. They score sixes and above on the blue wool scale, which is out of eight, which means they're extremely light fast, which is excellent for a watercolor type ink. So I'm just going to take some water and I've got a piece of watercolor paper here. This is 100% uh, rag. I'm just gonna spray this down a little bit so I can get the color to flow. You don't have to do that. You can apply them directly, but you're gonna see really how very, very um, intense these colors are. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to take a little bit of water and extend them down. And these are just amazing. So as you can see, these are infinitely uh, soluble with water, so you can just keep going uh, with them. I'm going to take another color, take a smaller brush. I think we'll do a yellow. And so it's a really high pigment loading, extremely stable in light, which is excellent. And if you can focus on the piece behind me, I don't know if you're able to see that, about 90% of that was actually painted using the aqua ink. And interestingly, the only color I ran out of was the orange. Uh, the rest uh, went a long way. So give you an idea it's extremely soluble very very soluble now what we've been doing is combining these because these are part of the, uh, the the graphics range which is this here and our graphics range is the aqua inks the aqua pens and then that's the brush the dual tip brush pens and also the liners so we've been here doing these little Kandinsky projects taking things like we've had these great little watercolor uh, shapes cut out. I'm going to use a brush pen here. I'm just going to show you, and you can really roughly color this in, not worry too much about it because we're going to add water to it. I'm just going to go around here. So we're basing everything on sort of Kandinsky. This, as I said, this is our theme. So we're taking some of these abstract shapes. These are great for when you're um, at the store. You can you know, you don't require drawing skills to do these kind of projects, and that's really what we've been thinking about. And I'm just going to pad that down a little bit so that we can uh, dry it off. I might touch it up. I'll put that to the side. I'm just going to colour in some of the other pieces here real quick. I'll take my crescent shape. So we've had all these pre-cut. See how beautiful that colour is? So as I said, these work really well together. So you've got the dual brush tip pens, you've got the aqua inks, these are pigments, these are dyes, and then you have the liners, and the liners are actually now available in 24 colors, and these are not, uh, these are bleed proof. So as long as you put them onto dry paper, they're not gonna bleed when you put color across them. So I'm just gonna get some glue, stick this down. Just really quick. This glue's great, works wonderfully. Put a crescent over here. These are not even dry, you know, so you don't really need to worry about that. And I'll take, got some little circles. I'm going to take some yellow. You see how intense these colors are, and you can blend them. I'm picking up color from just from the mat underneath. Okay. Stick these guys down too. Use any school glue for this, or any white uh, glue will work. 
this over here. So you can construct your own Kandinsky. Do this. So he's get picking a little bit of colour up. I'm gonna put some lids on and then come back in and we'll draw with our fine tip. I'm gonna take this and start drawing our lines. You can see that these will work beautifully on top. So this is a said this this is something great for people who they don't have any drawing skills, you can give them some references uh, of your favourite artist. We're working with Kandinsky, as I said, because he doesn't require really any sort of drawing skills. I can come in here and just go around the edge of my circle, sharpen these up, paint while it's actually on there. We'll use the fine liners, the white square there. Let's grab, I'm going to grab a number eight, that was perfect. And again, as I said, these are bleed proof, the liners, so these are not water soluble. Uh, you can paint over these with watercolor or with the inks and they're going to stay put and not bleed. Oh, wrong one. Let's take an orange and I'll come in and colour these in. But you get the general idea of the project and how quickly this can be done to create your own Kandinsky in literally 20 or 30 minutes. So there's a really is a huge amount of um, variation that you can get with this and they blend beautifully and price points are, are awesome and I think it'd be a great addition to your, your store.